Hey guys, Guy Cushion right here again for Pokemon Yellow in the last part. We finished up Route 24 and. Oh, yeah, Route 24. And today we're going to do Route 25. God. I I'm trying not to get the numbers mixed up again, I swear. Because that one video was just awful. So, anyways, we're going to open up with a Hiker. Um, Hiker has a Machop and a Geodude, I think. Um. What I didn't mention in Mount Moon is that, yes, hikers do tend to have a lot of rock Pokemon, but they also uh, carry around fighting type Pokemon every now and then as well. Haha, <laughs> you got confused and it doesn't hurt itself. Anyways, uh, as I said in the previous video, fighting are weak against psychic and flying, so if you got either, go ahead and use it. Alright, so he's gonna use his Geodude, so let's bust out Oddish and then uh, talk about stuff. Okay, so in the last video, um, a few people were wondering about uh, a particular glitch that could be done. Um, it's supposedly the one that allows you to get Mew in this game without Game Shark, without hacking or otherwise. And um, yeah, I put a comment saying that I wasn't going to do glitches. Now, um, well, that's kind of a loaded comment, but I'll explain things a little bit. Um, there are a few things, though that I should explain about the glitch. First off, um, I was really against doing it for starters because I had a really bad experience tampering with my game this one time with Pokemon Ruby. It killed my file, and I was really far along, so yeah, I really did not like that. So at first I was against doing the new thing at all. And then second, um, it actually requires a Pokemon that I can't quite get yet. Alright, so this Iker, real quick, he has a level 17 Onyx, so let's just skip to the end because something funny happens. Double level up power! <laughs> yes, in the original generation, um, they don't go through the level ups uh, one after another in sequential order. They just skip to whatever level you've earned. <laughs> yeah, very funny. I did not expect that. I did not set that up. It was completely you know, random. Oh, and here's another trainer worth mentioning. This trainer here is actually um, another method of doing the glitch, but more, you know, circumventing and longer. But this guy has a slow poke. Let's talk about that thing. It's a water and psychic type. However, this Pokemon actually learns a, a psychic type move, unlike Pokemon like, say, Starmie. So, um, don't send a grass type Pokemon out against this unless you have a pure grass type and there's only like one in the game. So odds are you're gonna have you have a poison grass type. So don't send that out against Slowpoke otherwise you might be in trouble. But anyways uh, the Mew glitch often um, involves like you know playing around with certain um, trainers and using a Pokemon that knows teleport. Now um, I don't believe teleport is a TM in this game even though we've seen TMs for Thunder Wave and, um, well, Whirlwind. <laughs> Don't want to bring that up. Anyways, um, uh, in the original generations, you can actually catch Abra, which is the one Pokemon that naturally knows Teleport, at Route 25 and 24. However, in Yellow, for some reason, they took that out. I don't know why. Uh, you can find Abra's later, though, in Route 5. However, in order to get access to Route 5, we have to meet with Bill the Pokemaniac first. But, um, anyways, just, just so you guys know, um, I'm not gonna do it with this file because obviously it's too late, but I don't want to damage this file. I don't want to threaten it. However, you people are in luck as we watch these Geodudes and the chop go down. Um, I do have more than one cartridge of Pokemon Yellow, and because I had two brothers, or have two brothers, I guess, had kind of a bad word to use, and that means, well, basically how we acted back then, we all wanted our own game, so, you know, I have at least three cartridges, and I know where one spare one is. Unfortunately, that one, I've already defeated the one trainer, too, so I gotta kill that file and then restart it. But I'm, gonna, I'm moving forward with this file anyway, so it really doesn't matter. And that's probably like the fifth trainer I've fought with a Rattata and Ekans combo. And I think I just sequence broke the game. <laughs> ah! TM19, a TM that I was only supposed to get after I learned Cut. Uh, that is for Seismic Toss, the move that allows you to inflict damage equivalent to the amount 
uh, the, the number level that your Pokemon is. So if you have a level 15 Pokemon, it's going to cause 15 points of damage. But anyways, um, if you really want to, if you guys really want to see the Mew glitch, um, I'll save it for an extra video. I'll wait till like after I have the V Elite Four and then show it. Or I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna get it recorded like pretty soon, hopefully. Like I don't know, maybe during vacation. I don't know. Again, I'm playing this all by ear. But um, I'll try and show it. If I can't, then oh well. But you know, again, it's gonna be an extra video if anything. So here we are at the end of Route 25 with our last trainer. Um, sorry if I've been a little distracted with that glitch thing, but it's something that I had to talk about. And plus, all this, tra uh, this route had was trainers. There's really nothing important besides that one TM. And we weren't even supposed to get that TM, so... Okay, so now let's go to the important stuff of Route 25. No, you cannot have a Clefairy. I found that, uh, that Pokemon by accident, and I will not hand it over, I swear. So here we are, Bill's house, Sea College, whatever. Pikachu is confused. Oh no, it's gonna hit itself in confusion. All right, well let's see what. Ah, why'd I do that? Yeah, yeah, I know. Pikachu is confused. Let's go already. Oh wait, why is there a Pokemon in this guy's house anyways? Where's Bill? I need Bill. All right, Pikachu's still confused. So let's talk to the Pokemon. Hi, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not dodging you. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here. Okay, sure. When I'm in the teleporter, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. Yeah, I just noticed. This is probably, this is probably the most technologically advanced we've ever seen the Pokemon series. I mean, yeah, sure, you got, like, the transforming Pokeballs and all that, but, like, this guy combined himself with a Pokemon using a human transporter device. Seriously. And Pikachu is officially shitting its pants, so that means we've done something right, I guess. Yeehaw! Thanks, bud, I owe you one. So did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't. Wait, I didn't. What? What's wrong with me? I gotta thank you. Okay, here we do. I got an SS ticket! SS ticket is going to be very important later on because it allows us to get access to SSN, which is the home to one of the hidden moves of the game. So, yeah, definitely gotta go there. Alright, so, uh, let's get Pikachu. Okay, I guess his bowels are empty, so now he's about to be confused. Alright, so right now, we can't see anything on this computer, but I believe if you come back, you can actually see the EV evolutions of the game. So, um, whatever Gary decides on, you can come back here and you'll see the other two. And so I'll end this video going down the shortcut and talking about another thing that's a bit of an issue with this LP. Uh, the starters. Um, as I'm about to show, actually, you can get all three of the original starters in this game. Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle, along with Pikachu. So you technically have four starters. However, I've noticed, well, my friend noticed, K-Man, to be more specific, that a lot of Pokemon LPs, yeah, there's Officer Jin, she's off to the side now, a lot of Pokemon yellow LPs tend to have teams that consist of the three starters, Pikachu, and the two other random Pokemon. So to make my LP more unique, I'm going to buck that trend and only use a select uh, Pokemon. Uh, I'm keeping Pikachu for the sake of the challenge, but I'm also going to use Charmander. Uh, Bulbasaur and Squirtle I can do without, but Charmander, it becomes a flying type at its full evolution, and, you know, it'll allow me to get rid of Pidgey, open up a slot in my party, and blah. So here we go, Bulbasaur. This is how you get Bulbasaur. Um, unlike last time, this um, woman will only trust us with Bulbasaur if our Pikachu is happy enough. Now, if your Pikachu isn't happy enough, you can do what, what I just did, and try and give a potion to a full health Pikachu. Uh, you won't waste the item, but the, the game's rudimentary happiness system will still add points to Pikachu. So, you know, just keep doing that until the girl lets you get Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is actually pretty useful if, you're, if you decide to use it too. It's a very nice grass type Pokemon. However, like I just said, I'm gonna try my take my chances with Oddish. Yeah, Oddish! Oddish is awesome. 
So anyways, that's about the end of the video. This is Guy Crusher 9, and in the next video, I will take on Cerulean City Gym. So, see you later, guys. Okay, I know I'm going to get a comment or something about this because I said it, but I'm going to reiterate a little more strongly here. I am considering to do only the Mew glitch. I am not doing any of these other major glitches, which include, but not limited to, Glitch City, Old Man Glitch, Missing Number, and Apostrophe VM, Item Duplication Glitch, Zazz Glitch, Ghost Glitches, and the Cycling Road Glitch. I'm only considering Mew, okay? Do not ask me if I'm doing any others. Do not bitch at me if I do not do any others, okay? Just want to make that clear. I'm only considering Mew because it's pretty much the one way I can get Mew without breaking my game or anything. There's also an invisible PC in Cell that I might show, but other than that, please do not ask me if I'm doing any other glitches, okay? Thank you.